hello dear colleagues so today we will learn about the tractography how tractography is acquired and how it is interpreted as we know that diffusion weighted imaging is used to detect the motion of the water molecules to and from the cells which is free movement of the water molecules but in the axons the myelin sheath acts as a barrier to the random motion of the water molecules this motion thus becomes directly dependent called anisotropy which means direction dependent and the direction of the maximum diffusivity aligns with the orientation of the white matter tracts with the advent of diffusion tensor imaging this degree of anisotropy and fiber direction can be mapped voxel by voxel allowing for the in vivo assessment of the white matter tracts so here we can see this is isotropic unrestricted diffusion of the water molecules and these are random in direction in isotropic restricted diffusion there is some barrier by the cells and it is still not in any direction but in an isotropic diffusion the water molecule movement is restricted by the myelin sheath and it is direction dependent along the course of the tracks if these white matter tracks are damaged then they again become partially direction dependent and partially non directional dependent diffusion tensor imaging consists of diffusion measurements from at least 6 non collinear directions from which diffusivity in any direction as well as direction of the maximum diffusivity can be estimated it is usually obtained in 30 to 60 directions the two main parameters derived from the dti data are mean diffusivity such as apparent diffusion coefficient which tells us about the average magnitude of the molecular displacement by diffusion and the other is fractional anisotropy which tells us about the directionality of the molecular displacement fiber tractography is a 3d reconstruction technique to assess neural tract using data collected by diffusion tensor imaging The orientation of the maximum diffusivity may be mapped using red, green and blue colors modulated by fraction and isotropy and this can result in the formation of a color map demonstrating the degree of anisotropy and local fiber direction. The red fibers are transverse fibers which are commissural fibers. The green fibers are anteroposterior fibers which are also called association fibers. The blue fibers are craniocaudal fibers which are also called projectional fibers remember that this is the standard technique of color codes but not always the same fibers with the oblique orientation are represented with color originating from the combination of the three primary colors such as red and blue colors mixed to form magenta color green plus red color mixed to form yellow color and green plus blue color mixed to form cyan color so don't confuse by these colors so this is the raw data of the diffusion tensor imaging and this is the combined fraction anisotropy and direction map this image is used as the diagnostic purposes so we will briefly look at some major tracks so these blue color tracks are projectional fibers and these are starting from the cortex making the corona radiata and traveling downward into the posterior limb of the internal capsule and further downward into the crust of the cerebrae and further go downward to the cusset at the level of pons and they further go downward into the spinal cord these green color fibers are superior longitudinal fasciculus which are association fibers and they connect frontal parietal and occipital lobes if we go downwards these green fibers are inferior longitudinal fasciculus which connects frontal temporal and occipital lobes these green fibers are superior occipito frontal fasciculus which are deep to the corpus callosum and they go downwards 
into the anterior limb of the internal capsule which connects the frontal and occipital lobes these green fibers are inferior occipital frontal fasciculus these are traveling into the external capsule so these all green fibers were association fibers so these red fibers are corpus callosum which is the largest commissure of the brain here you can see this is the rostrum and this is the splenium this is red in color so representing commissural fibers this red structure is anterior commissure and this red structure is posterior commissure the cerebral peduncles are also green in color so these are also association fibers here we can see this is the superior cerebellar peduncle this is the middle cerebellar peduncle and this is the inferior cerebellar peduncle these are the optic radiations and this is the site of meyer's loop if we go downwards this red structure is the pontine decussation and this blue structure is the medial lamniscus so these are all the major tracts of the cns and we should all know the anatomy and course of these fibers so that if these are involved by any tumor or any white matter disorder we can easily identify them thank you